what I would say to any guitar player who's coming up and and uh, developing their skills, uh, there are two things that I would focus on heavily, and really learn them as as well as you can because they're they're the things that are going to benefit you through your entire career. And uh, a lot of it is you know when you start playing guitar, you start learning scales and whatnot, and that's great, but Actually, learning how to use those scales in a song is what's really important. And that's something I battled with for a long time um, until I started learning from a lot of the, uh, you know, the professional musicians here in town who kind of showed me you know, in my younger uh, years here. And two things I would learn and focus on really well would be chords, five chords. And it's called the caged system, C-A-G-E-D. So just, there's your C, right? There's your A, there's your G, there's your E, and there's your D. They're real basic, we all know them. But the thing to do is learn the arpeggios for them, right? Each one is a different shape, right? And that's, that's what's key. If you can learn the arpeggios across the neck, say for example, this G shape here, right? It starts like this, right? You're gonna know that. There's your arpeggio for that shape. So learn that shape, learn that arpeggio, and then start practicing moving it around the neck. Now when you move it around the neck, you need to bar, right? So G is probably the toughest, but we're still gonna stick with it. Right? So we're gonna take that, let's just say we'll move it up to a, let's move it up to a D, it's a little easier up here. So we would take that G shape, move it up here. We kind of have to bring the nut with us. Bring it back there. So you play it like this in a way, right? If your fingers are long enough, you can even get your that major third in there, right? But once you've done that, practice that scale, again that G-shaped scale or that arpeggio, sorry. There, right? Now it's 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 a D chord, but it's still that shape. So practice those because as you start playing over progressions those are going to be your target notes all over the neck when someone lands on that particular chord right so being able to move those shapes around the neck really opens up the neck from here all the way up to here as opposed to just staying down in this area that's the first thing the second thing is the five pentatonic shapes the cool thing about pentatonics is they're both major and minor just depending on where you start okay and between knowing the arpeggios for the five major chords and then knowing the shapes, here's a, a G minor pentatonic. Right, that's the first shape, and as you walk, work that up the neck, as you start learning how to connect those up and down the neck, that's another thing that's gonna really open up the rest of this part of the guitar for you to improvise and solo with. And as you start learning those and as you really lock them in your head, then when you start playing over progressions, you can start moving around and hitting the target notes for each chord. And the target note is simply one of the three notes in the arpeggio. If you're talking major arpeggios or minor arpeggios. That's it, that's my tip.